is the one that I made on the other side there. See how many left so far. So, yeah. Hey guys, so. welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you how I do my pizza at home, basically. So, what you're going to be needing is flour right here. All purpose flour, or you can use um, wheat flour. Okay. And then I have my extra virgin olive oil. Or you could use regular oil as well. Okay. So I have my mozzarella cheese right here. I have my yeast. Fast rising yeast right here. I have my sugar. I have my salt. Okay. And I have my flour. I have five... I have five cups of flour right here that I place. I use my cup right here. So yeah, so I use five um, five cups in here. So now what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna use my yeast. Okay, this yeast I got it from. Aldi, you can get it from Walmart or wherever. Okay, so I'm gonna cut one pack out of here. And I'm gonna put that in this bowl. A cup. <laughs> Should I say? I'm gonna put that in here. This is about... Um, this is about two, two one fourth, to, you know, teaspoon, okay, of um, yeast. So now I'm gonna add. This is two tablespoons of sugar, okay, and then I'm gonna add. I'm gonna. Add add that amount of salt and then I'm gonna add olive oil into into here um, some of you might want to know the measurement so let me just one two three four five Let's say six, okay? And then I'm gonna get warm water. Not hot, but warm. <laughs> you don't want hot water because the yeast is not gonna form, okay? So I'm gonna mix this two together. Well, all the ingredients together. And then I'm gonna put the water in there. And I'm gonna put um about two and a half cups of water like right here okay so as you can see I think I have it right there okay so now I'm gonna let this yeast um, do its work maybe like three to five minutes so I will come back and then pour the the ingredients there's in this um, in this cup and pour it in the bowl where I have my five cups of um, flour okay so that's what I'm gonna be doing and then I'm gonna form a dough okay so after I pour the um, mixture into this bowl right here I'm gonna form a dough and then I'm gonna let the dough sit for about an hour before um, before I actually um, bake it okay and you also gonna need your pizza sauce or tomatoes or whatever you prefer okay so I'm gonna do one with a cast iron and one with a regular um, regular um, tray that goes in the oven so this is what I have I have this traditional um, pizza sauce okay and I also have the pepperoni 
the pepperoni flavor kind. So you can get this at your local giant store. Okay. So those are the ingredients that you need. So I'm going to give this a few minutes. Yeah. Okay, so now I'm gonna open, I'm gonna open the flower like this. And then I'm gonna pour the ingredient in there. This, um, this ingredient right here, it's gonna, um, rise anyway, so once the, um, Once everything is mixed together, if you if the water is too much, guys, because this is five cups right here, you can always add flour as you go to the consistency of your um your, your thing. What should I say? Cause we want to form a dough, okay? sometimes the measurements okay guys so so this is five cups of flour so I think I'm gonna add another cup to give me that consistency that I'm looking for okay so I'm gonna add another cup another cup of flour Let me, let me wash my hands again so I can really, really get dirty with this flour, okay? When you're making pizza, you never want to use this, okay? But... So now the total flour that I use is six cups. Okay, so I'm not sure if I'm gonna need more than that. So let's see how everything goes. Cause you don't want it too wet. You know what I mean? You just wanna form a dough. Like it's a little bit sticking on my fingers. Okay. I'm going to put a little bit more. So I'm going to add probably another cup. Okay, so... So this will be six and a half cups of flour do you guys see what I'm talking about though like this is forming like a dough okay so six and a half cups so once I form a dough you see what I'm saying like it's not sticking it anymore on my fingers so I'm gonna try to finish so total flour will be six and a half cups okay because I know somebody will ask well then how many cups do you have a flour do you have okay so I'm trying to get all the flour from here let me sprinkle a little bit of oil Okay. 
so now that I got the dough consistency that I want I'm gonna let it sit in this bowl I'm gonna let it sit I'm gonna add a little bit more um, oops a little bit more on the and then on the bottom And then I'm going to cover it up with a wrap and let it sit for like an hour. And then I will come back once the dough, you know, has rised. So now I'm going to use my, you can use a cloth as well if you want to but I'm gonna use my plastic wrap okay pizza is a process y'all so I want to make sure I'm showing you guys the process of making the pizza like I said, I'm still learning as I go on, but yeah, I'm not a pro to know exactly, but as you guys see, I always tell you guys, I'm not looking for perfection. This is a perfect example, okay? So now, I'm going to take another plastic bag, two plastic bags. So that the heat, you know, so it will rise faster, okay, depending on your room temperature as well. So I'm going to come back in an hour or so and show you guys how fast this thing has rise, okay? All right. Hey guys, so this is my pizza pan right here that I'm going to be using and also my cast iron um, pot that I'm going to be using for our pizza. So as you see over here, this is, yeah, this is small. I needed a big one, but this is the pizza dough after one hour. This is what the dough is looking at so if you was leaving this overnight it will be you know twice or three times the size but since it's only an hour and I need it to bake it today for the kids and everything this is how it's looking so I'm gonna divide this um this pizza into two sections well more than two let me see. because the cast iron doesn't take much so this one right here will be for this one the big one and then you know so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna sprinkle uh, flour so I'm just gonna sprinkle flour a little bit and then I have my roller I don't know what I did with it, but I'm just going to do it like this for now. And let me get, yeah, I don't know where I put my roller, my pizza roller. Maybe the next one. But I'm going to transfer, I'm going to transfer this, um, this pizza dough on here so that I can stretch it out some more okay so I have my oven on on 400 degrees so you can leave your um, 
your pizza for 15 20 minutes that's what I usually do so yeah So you can stretch this out as much. Like I said, I have my roller, but I don't know where it's at. So we're gonna be doing this. This is all DIY handmade pizza. So we're gonna do it this way. Okay. And it's looking lovely. So now what we're going to do is add our sauce, okay, and then take your spoon. You just want enough. You don't want too much. Okay. And then I'm going to add the cheese to it. And then put it in the oven for... For, um... 15, 20 minutes. Okay? So... So that is all that I needed right there. And then I'm going to use my cheese right here. So that is it for this one guys, so I'm just waiting for the oven to get warm and I'm gonna stick this in there. Okay, so... Next time I make another pizza, I will try to find my roller. Okay. So you guys hear that? So I'm gonna make, I'm gonna put the first pizza in. Guys, the reason why the pizza um, time is so long on how, that's because I wanted to show you guys bit by bit on how to make pizza. I just don't want to rush you guys to say, well, we didn't see this one. You didn't show us that one. I want to show you the, the good way. Okay. Yeah, you can stretch it out and try to make it as even as possible. Alright. I 
actually use the rest of the cheese well I use one bag for each pizza let me just put it like that okay so and guys yeah the only thing that takes time is just to mix the dough and the best thing to do is to mix it if you are going somewhere in the morning when you come back you got a pizza dough okay so instead of starting it off like I did after work and I promised the kids I was gonna you know do it so yeah Okay guys, so this is the cast iron one, and I'm ready to put it in there. I will show you guys the final result. Okay guys, so this is the final pizza that I made. So as you see, I already cut them up into pieces, and this is the final result, guys. So thank you for watching, and I will see you in my next video. Time to eat. Matcha. Okay guys, so this is the cast iron um, pizza that I made, as you can see, I just took one out of it, and this is the one that I made on the other side there, you see how many left so far, so yeah, <laughs> so thank you guys for watching, and I uh, will see you in my next video, bye bye.